It's to the beginning of the show. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Good evening, Wildcats, and welcome to West Ranch's Open House. We're your first set of senior hosts for this special edition of West Ranch TV. That's right, Avery, and in the first block of today's show, we will be highlighting several of our award-winning projects from this year. I'm Danielle Huang. And I'm Avery Van Hart. To start this highlight off, let's look at our school promo, which plays third in STN's Fall Nationals. Tomorrow, make sure to come out to Rancho Pico and West Ranch's Showcase Concert. Tickets are $10 at the door, but are free for West Ranch students and staff with ID. Provision Projects Drive has their last day tomorrow. This drive is for period products and maternity clothing, and items can be dropped off in room 427. Now let's take it out to our music video, which plays third in STN's Challenges. Drowning in the lost emotion Crying like some kind of ocean from my eyes But I got up out of the hopeless Yeah, I got over you last night Wasn't it easy to believe I would be broken forever Thought I would never see the light You didn't need me, so I went looking for somebody better Thought I'd be sadder, but I'm fine Washing my tears away, I watch my heart break go down Go down the drain Wildcats Against Cancer's annual Spring Share Your Blessings fundraiser tomorrow. <laughs> Make sure to donate cash into the blue jar placed in all period four classes. West Ranch participated in STN's 62nd Horror Fest and placed second. Let's see our award-winning film titled The Understudy. that short film. I still get chills. Honestly, same. Congrats on your work on that, Avery. I'm genuinely so proud of everything you've done for West Ranch TV. 
Aw, Danny, stop. Thank you for everything you've done. Crazy Eight's broadcasting was held together by you. Aw, thank you, Avery. Another member of our hardworking Trinity is here in the studio with ASB to give us some info about up upcoming events. Wow, really? I can't wait to hear more. Siddharth? Yeah. Hey, Avery, I'm Siddharth, the current ASB president, and I'm here with our newly elected eboard president and vice president, Essie and Elizabeth. I wanted to congratulate you all on your positions and good luck to everything that's going on in the future. To start with um, Essie, what are some exciting events coming up to finish this year? So prom is in about a month, it's on April 29th and it's from 7 to 11 p.m. at the Peterson Automotive Museum. That sounds so fun, I'm extremely excited to pull out my best flapper dress. And Elizabeth, looking ahead, what are some things coming to the ranch after this year? Yeah, so our, um, our school has been working a lot on campus beautification and also we want to work on gaining feedback from students in order to better plan activities. Wow, I'm definitely going to have to check back in after I graduate to see all of these amazing things. Thank you both for coming down in the studio, Wildcats and future Wildcats. Make sure to be on the lookout for great things coming to West Ranch in the upcoming months. Now let's take it back to our anchors, Danny and Avery. Thanks, Siddharth. It's definitely been an adventure with you as ASB president. And congrats, SC, for winning the election. West Ranch's future is safe with you. And STN's Fall Nationals, our program plays third in vertical short film. This is a 100% student made and features one of our teachers as an actor. Let's take a look. I know, I know I'm late. I'm 10 minutes away and I'll make it five. Paul Hoodman. My name is Sophie O'Hara, and I just crashed into your flashy sign. Which one? Um, the one in Newhall. I'm sorry, it sounds like you're at fault. I think you need a lawyer. What? I'll be there in five. Hello? Hello? <gasps> What's wrong, Avery? I'm just so sad that our time is almost over. I know the feeling. <laughs> The perfect thing to cheer you up. Gotta <laughs> read the documentary that got honorable mention to Apple Nationals. Is it Coach Saves the Band? It sure is. Well, I can't wait. Well, I mostly, uh, mostly experience in coaching football. I've been doing that for about 25 years. Prior to that, I was in the Army. So, do you have any musical background? <laughs> no. What makes you so sure you can prepare the band kids for their performance in only a week? <laughs> it's a matter of will. See, it's my will against theirs, and they will lose. All right, listen up, people, band, kids, whatever uh, you're referred to. I am Coach Farner. With football season over, I have been tasked with making sure you are prepared for your competition while your normal instructor, Mr. Leff, is on vacation. Um. Didn't he have his appendix burst and need emergency surgery? Well, I'll tell you what, Doogie Hauser, you call what you want. All I know is that this close to competition, my appendix would never let me down. I'm not really sure about how I feel with Coach Varner. Uh, whoa, 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 what was that? Uh, it's a uh, scale. Scale, what, what does that mean? It's a uh, warm up. Warm up, I know warm up. We got warm up, I'll get you warmed up. Two laps right now, around the building, let's go. Did he seriously just say we have to run in band? Oh. It's not really working out. Go ahead. He seems to get mad very easily. Uh, we aren't very used to it. Because Mr. Weff and him have different styles of working with students. All right, just stop, stop. You, know, you, you guys don't know how to listen. I mean, you got your little instrument here. What, what do you call this thing? It's a trumpet. Yeah, yeah. They used to wake us up uh, in the army with that. They played reveille. I think that's a bugle. A be yeah, You don't know what to tell me. You don't tell me anything. I tell you what to do. That's how this works. 
there aren't really a whole lot of resources to help him, so we thought we'd show him the movie The Wet Flash. Okay, Brass, ready for your intro, and... No shorter, staccato, staccato. I'm sorry, did he just say staccato? Oh, uh... <laughs> Uh, you're back. Um, this is yours. I, I, I toughen them up for you. Uh, they'll be ready, and uh, I guess my services are no longer needed. <laughs> miss it? No, I don't miss it. Uh, my, my home's the football field, and I think that's, that's where I'm just gonna stay. I'm so proud of what our crews have accomplished this year. I know, right? So many hours of hard work, but it definitely paid off, especially at STM. You're so right, Avery. If you would like to be a part of this award-winning program, be sure to scan the QR code in our Instagram, and for all the incoming freshmen who are interested, be sure to sign up for Video Production 1A. I know I'm glad I signed up my freshman year. Me too. Well, that's all the time we have for our block. Be sure to stay tuned to hear more about amazing things on our campus. I'm Danielle Huang. And I'm Avery Van Hart. Let's take it out to Siddharth, who's live interviewing parents and students right now. Thank you, Danny and Avery, for a great job on the show. I'm going to start with Eli and Catherine, who are both in our studio. What are you guys doing today as your first show taking over as juniors? Um, I'm working on audio. And what are you doing? Um, helping to produce and make sure things run smoothly for you guys. So are you guys excited for next year with um, as all of our seniors leave and you guys start to take over? I'm super excited. Um, first time producing soon, right? Well, I'm sad you guys are leaving, but I'm excited. All right, well, you guys should probably get back to your job, and I'll go interview other people, so great job. Um, here, how about, does any, any of you guys want to be interviewed? Sure? Over here? No? Okay, I'll interview you guys. All right, over here. All right, so, <laughs> all right, so what is your name? My name is Ravi. And do you have any kids here you'd like to shout out? Yeah, I have a son. Uh, he's undergrad in USC. Oh wow! And okay. uh, my daughter, she's the ninth grader here at West Point. And what's her name? Shibani. Okay, so shout out, and I will go interview other people. Great to see you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so how about we interview our next set of hosts? So now we're gonna go over to Roshan and Tiff, and Roshan and Tiff are hosting block number two of the show today. How excited are you guys? You guys are both first time West Ranch TVers this no, year, not. right? We've been here forever. What are yeah, you talking about? <laughs> All right, well, if you guys have been here forever, what has been your favorite part of West Ranch TV so far? Getting in freshman year, because I've been here forever. Yeah. 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 I've yeah. been here since birth. <laughs> All right, so. I came out of West Ranch TV's world. I'm missing <laughs> All right, well, we're going to take it to our host next to, to our next block of the show. I'll see you guys at the top of this block. See you later. Oh, my. What's up? Hurry back, hurry back later. All right, good evening, Wildcats, and welcome to Open House. Are we here? We're live, we're live, we're live. Go, 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 go. We are your second set of hosts for the night, and let me just say, I am so excited to be here. Aren't you, Roshan? I definitely am, Tiff. It's so fun seeing all the incoming Wildcats come on campus right before you graduate. I know, right? I can't believe that we were in their shoes just a few years ago. Facts. I hope that they find their place on campus just like we did. Well, luckily in this block, we'll get to learn about a few activities on campus that the future Wildcats may be interested in joining. I can't wait. I'm Tiffany Hyun. And I'm Roshan Adakara. West, West Ranch, Ranch TV, TV starts, starts now. now. Bro, who's on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Hey Roche, I'm pretty hungry, aren't you? It's pretty typical of you, Teeps. <laughs> I might have not gone to the culinary classroom. I know they're always cooking up something good. Well, I wouldn't go in there right now. I heard that there <laughs> might be a super strict head chef in there. Really? Let's see if KP and d -Bock can tell us more. <laughs> in today's episode of the Chef Challenge, we will do something that has never been done. We go to West Ranch High School to pit a high school against the Sarge, Chef Arna. In this corner, we have 12-year veteran high school culinary teacher and fiance planning her April wedding, Chef Griffin. In this corner, we have a five-time angry chef and owner of Florida's Alligator Wrestling Cafe, the Sarge. Today, we see a competition of two very different styles. All right, guys, let's get ready to make some calzones today. If you could all pull your recipe out and we will go over all the instructions. Today, you fell the class. You fell the class, you won't graduate. If you don't graduate, you will turn into the student equivalent of a blockbuster video. Your time starts now. Now! High school kitchen aren't immune to distractions. First, let's see how Chef Griffin handles distracted students. You could uh, put your phone away, please. Sorry, Chef. Now the Sarge takes his turn. So, uh, you're wrong right now. Do you know how you were wrong? Phone's out. We're missing something. What are you missing? That is the end of that will get your nice hot cup of jack squat! Where's your chef go at? Aspiring students are full of questions. Let's see how Chef Griffin nurtures her young chef. Hey, Miss Griffin, do we get our chef's clothes today? No, it's okay. You can just wear an apron so you don't get any food on that cute outfit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, looks good. Uh-huh. Um, is this too hot? <laughs> That. Set that down. Sorry, Miss Griffin's great. I mean, she always helps everyone with everything, and I don't really know how she does it. Every time I walk into the class, I mean, she kind of just has this energy around her. It's great. The Sarge has a different approach. Okay. Really count it. Really put your impression on him. Excuse me, Chef. Is this similar to Hot Pockets? Because I made Hot Pockets before. Excuse me, um, Chef Barner, what's the best way to crack an egg? Um, Chef Barner has his own way of teaching, I guess. As the dough starts to rise for these young chefs, so does the tension. Let's see Chef Griffin's method for defusing a situation. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Having fun, I hope. <laughs> Sergeant Barner's really philosophy is more direct. I think don't know who the fuck What? Uh, you've got it. Yep. What's going on? I didn't realize it was 1984 summer camp. I can have fun with Just get you a lay in a hula skirt and get you back to Hawaii because you don't put pineapple in a calzo! Ever! Now we come to the results of our calzone challenge. Today's winner is... It's Chef Griffin! 
Now let's get a word from our contestants. All right, so I guess I didn't win the contest. I would definitely say that I won. You gotta be comfortable with the controlled chaos. Uh, I demand excellence, and these kids just didn't want to give it to me. Look, I deal with professionals. I can't put up with this little whining I don't even know why you guys are following me around. What made you think that I should be subjected to doing this? I'm too good for the entire thing. In fact, I'm done with this. The Sarge is terrifying, but I'm not gonna lie. Those calzones look really good. I bet they did. In other news, the Rancho Pico and West Ranch Band are performing together tomorrow. March 24th, for, for, they should have bring, yeah. From band and choir to drawing and sculpting all, all the way to what we do here in oh West Ranch TV. God. West Ranch's fine art program is insanely talented. Oh <laughs> Let's have a look to see more about our incredible programs. Bro, who wrote this? You're happy. That's when you're truly an artist. This is your world, and you can create anything that you want in it. Every human being has a creative impulse, and we all have the right to exercise this creative impulse. No, wait. Oh, no, no. Wow, West Ranch's artists are truly amazing. If you are currently a student and interested in trying out for ASB, applications are due this Friday at 11.59 p.m. Make sure to check out the West Ranch ASB at Instagram for more info. Incoming freshmen, your tryout date will be later. If you are interested in trying out for West Ranch TV, make sure to scan our QR code in our Instagram app, West Ranch TV. Hasn't the weather been crazy lately, Teeps? Uh, so crazy. That's. <laughs> yep. Don't, <laughs> don't get frazzled. Luckily, we have Ryan in the studio to give us the weather report for tomorrow and the weekend. I'm here to report your three day weather forecast. Tomorrow, we will be having cloudy weather with a high of 60 and a low of 39. Saturday expects some sun with lower, uh, another high of 60 and a low of 36. On Sunday we'll have cloudy skies, our high will still be at 60 and our low will be 36 degrees. That's all from me, now let's take it back to the anchors. Thanks Ryan for that report, you always do your best. Something that really sets West Ranch apart is its several career pathways. These pathways put students ahead of the game and give them skills they will utilize for their upcoming challenges. Let's get a more in-depth look at these CTE courses West Ranch has to offer. Not only does West Ranch offer these amazing career readiness classes, West Ranch also takes pride in its wellness center. That's right, Roshan. West Ranch understands the true importance of students' mental health and dedicates a building to exactly that. Let's see more. <laughs> It's important for people who want to pursue a career in music to be able to know how to like work in these workshops. So far, we've been working with two like digital audio workshops. It's just been interesting to um, play with both uh, workshops and see how each one differs from each other. I took the career path of music production because I plan to go into music after I graduate. Um, I want to be a producer, I want to be a songwriter, and I want to work on some big tracks in the music industry. I feel like this career path, especially this class, will definitely help me in the long run. Before I took culinary, I was I was a picky eater and like Taking this class I has expanded my food taste and I would recommend taking this class if like you're wanting to try something new. This class has helped me like l learn how to cook independently. I was already really interested in culinary. I wanted to go to Lake Holder and Blue in France but I didn't really have any experience so joining this class really uh, opened my eyes to a whole new world of culinary. Ha <laughs> ha.
I chose this class because I pers uh, plan to pursue entrepreneurship in my future and this is a good stepping stone for me to get started. This career path will help me in college because I plan to pursue marketing. I feel like I've always been interested in business, but I think doing the business pathway really, really solidified that and, you know, at first it was just like, oh, you know, I'm kind of interested in it. And then after completing the pathway, I was very sure that this is what I'm going to be pursuing in college in my career. Um, Westridge TV has really shown me the opportunities that film has and has really spurred my interest in it and makes me want to pursue it as a career. I've been interested in film since I was probably I would say like five. I think Western Edge TV gave me a lot of resources to help create that I couldn't just get by myself. Having a teacher with first-hand experience like this has really helped me because she, Mrs. O, has seen things that I wouldn't see unless I had a future career like that. And having those specific things that she shared with me beforehand has really helped. This class has taught me like the core fundamentals of engineering and has helped expand my skill set. It's really like helped feed off my curiosity for the subject. When I saw that West Ranch had engineering classes, I immediately showed that to my family and so I, I did it. <laughs> I've always been interested in engineering and taking this class has actually like heightened that interest. And now that I'm taking this class, I feel like my future as an engineer is a bit more secure. So I took this class because I heard really good things about it. It's really easy. The teacher is really funny and nice. The classwork, it doesn't have like a set curriculum. So the class is really just like laid back overall. I truly love our campus and everything West Ranch has to offer. Right, Teeps? Same here, Roshi. Thank you, West Ranch, for giving us these amazing years and really setting us up for our future. That's all we have for our block. Stay tuned for your next set of hosts who will highlight our sports. I'm Tiffany Hyun. And I'm Roshi Narakura. This has been West Ranch TV with Teeps and Roche reporting.
Hey Wildcats, we are in the third quarter of our special edition of West Coast TV. That's right, Soap, and in this third quarter, we will be focusing on all of our Wildcat sports. As a varsity basketball player, I am ready for the highlights. And as varsity lacrosse captain, I am more ready than you. No one said it was a competition, Sophia. Everything is a competition. All right, then let's start already. I'm Sidor Student. And I'm Sophia O'Hara. Western TV Sports Quarter starts now. I miss football season so much. Me too, Soph, but there still are West Range sports going on, and with them, our pack rules are still in place. Let's see those rules. Hey guys, I'm Roshan Adakara. And I'm Wyatt Anderson. I'm Kelly Frank. And I'm Madison Ozremli. And, and we, we are your 2022-2023 pack leaders. We're gonna go over some rules for the pack. Rule number one. Cats, for your safety and comfort, make sure all walkways are cleared at all times. Rule number two, know your class section. Seniors always get front row. No exceptions. Rule number three. Absolutely no throwing items. And if we find out you are, you will be booted. Rule number four. The front benches are for pack leaders only. Rule number five. Only pack leaders to start the chance. Defense on me, defense on three. One, two, three. I believe in me. Rule number six. Don't disrespect the DJ. Don't start fights, and if you do, you will be kicked out. Those are the main rules for this year's pack, so make sure to follow them. On a serious note, don't start any offensive chants and don't start fights. We want to keep this a very positive year. Make sure to come out to the football game and support our team. It's a big season pack. Let's go all out. Those are our pack rules that keep the pack tame. All right, Sid, you're finally about to get this spotlight with these next few segments. I'm always in the spotlight, so. Oh. <laughs> I mean, like, am I not? No. <laughs> Actually, you don't even play. That was low. Not as low as your shot percentage. If you knew, if I knew anything about lacrosse, you'd be done for. Whatever you say, play those clips already. Alrighty, everybody, welcome to Talks with the Team. I'm here with Jakari Miles, senior shooting guard, Daryl Morris, junior point guard, and the Andrew Meadow. <laughs> Don't know what position you are, but he's also a senior. Um, but anyways, this is how we're gonna play the game. We got some goofy questions. Um, everyone's gonna go around, take a question out of the thing, answer it, and we'll go from there. Drewski, start us off. <laughs> <laughs> I got too many. I got too many. <laughs> Funniest teammate. You want to pick yourself so bad for that one? Darryl. Tell them don't. Say it sucks at basketball. <laughs> it's a joke though. It's oh joke. yeah, it is a yeah, joke. A so joke. I'm actually good at basketball. Worst trailer to Darth, he sucks at Madden. Bro, why? I literally, you have to show the video of me about to beat you and missing the extra point. Favorite team to play against? Uh, Valencia, because it's our rival school. Favorite coach this year? Give that to my guy, Jeff Brown. Not a uh, coach Dez, all that wonderful conditioning. What do you do in your free time besides basketball? Oh yeah, go fishing. I go fishing. Oh, yeah, fishing hey, we need picture and photo Zach. evidence of you. I go fishing with Zach and then eat the fish after. and jazz. Favorite teacher this year, Casey Burrow. This is my favorite. Except for when he walks in during ASB. 
Yeah. I'm his favorite student. I'm his favorite student. Yeah. yeah. You don't even like you, bro. Yeah. You don't I'm have my favorite student. Computer you don't science, like right? you. Mm -hmm. People are tell Andrew passed the ball. In the biggest. All right, sit back down. Where are you going? Where are you going? All righty, everyone. That was Talks with the Team. Um, we will have more of these coming up, so stay tuned. That's all for me. Let's take it back to the host. Valencia West Range game, and um, oh my goodness, people are screaming. Um, so we wanted to do a mic'd up at a basketball game, and um, we're not allowed to have a mic on on the um, court per CIF regulations, but I don't play. Push, push! You good? You good? You good? You good? Good take. Yourself a level head. Be patient. You're you're making decisions too quick, and that's the problem. Take a second, take a breath, and then go. Oh. Are they saying there's no limit? Oh man. Saying there's no limit. Oh. You don't suck James in my eyes. I'm so sad that our basketball season is over. I'm so proud of what the team accomplished this year, but I do got to say, I really enjoy watching spring sports. Well, you're in luck because Ryan is in the studio with two of our spring sport athletes, Natalie and Jacob, who are on the track team. It's sitting so fudgy live, and I'm here with two members of track and field. So Natalie, I bet so, so Jacob, I heard that you just got back from a race again from our rival Valencia. Can you tell me how the team prepared for this? So yeah, um, we practice six days a week. We're getting our miles in. We get the workouts in. We get the workouts done. And we condition our bodies up to, until the meet day. And then the meet is all out. We go, we, we give it our all. We give it our best, our best effort. And yeah. And Jacob, what is the team looking forward to most this season? League championships. We've been working. We've all been working really hard to get that goal for us. Um, especially our coach, which is Coach Taylor. He's been really pushing us to be our best. And yeah. What gives you guys the motivation to run? Um, I see running as a way of I see running as a way of improving myself, making myself better, uh, at better than my previous self. You know, as improving on myself. Self improvement. That's the best way to go. Well, that's all the time I have. But thank you going, going. too for stopping by. We wish the best for luck to you as you continue through your season. Back to you, anchors. Oh, what's up, Wildcats? It is March, and you know what that means, JB. March, March madness. madness. JB, how's your bracket looking? My bracket's looking terrible. I mean, I've lost almost every game. I had Arizona winning, and so I haven't been paying much attention. You know, my bracket's busted as well, but it's still one of the most exciting sports events to watch, and I'm super excited to, to watch the rest of the Sweet 16, Elite Eight, the Final Four, and then the Natty Championship and on go. April 3rd. Mm -hmm. All right, now moving on to West Strand Spring Sports. What do you got for us, JB? Boys baseball. On Wednesday, boys baseball, both JV and varsity were supposed, were supposed to play Valencia, but sadly, due to the high rates of precipitation, their games got canceled. On to the next sport, lacrosse. You know, our girls and boys lacrosse teams are killing it this year. They're, take, they're looking to take the Foothill League title once again. They're dominating. They're beating every team in league. I'm rooting for them, and I can't wait to see what they got to show for us this year. Let's go, girls and boys across. Now, next sport up, what do you got for us? We got track and field. They had a meet today, and it was a good meet. Uh, I'm not really sure what happened during the meet, but they had a good meet. Uh, adding on to the next sport, we're going to go to boys golf. Most of the matches this week got canceled, but you know what? We played today at Hanson Dam Golf Course, which was a great, a great time. I had a blast personally, mm -hmm. and I hope to play there again sometime.
You know, I just can't take this weather, JB, man. It's killing me. All these sports games. It is killing me, man. All right, here we go. On to boys volleyball. You know, despite having a young team this year, they're still one of the top teams in league. They're contending. They're dominating. They're competing. And, you know, I'm on the team myself. A couple of my boys, you know, we out here competing. But, you know, I'm just excited for the rest of the year. We're, we're going for league again, seven straight time. You know, we'll see what happens. But, you know, any more sports? What do we got? I'm going to be honest. I think that's all we got, man. I think that's all we got for now. To the host, it's been Will and JB. See ya. Thanks, Will and JB, for that a very informative, very amazing week <laughs> Wildcat Sports wrap up. Sid, do you like cheer? I mean, yeah. Because I know that's what you'd be doing on the bench. Stop the slander, so I love cheering for my boys in any way. In fact, the boys did cheer when they practiced in man cheer. Let's see more in our man cheer segment. Worldwide, cheerleading has been categorized as a female sport. According to Statista.com, around 97% of high school cheerleaders in 2022 were girls. But here at West Ranch, we've been breaking this stigma for years with our annual tradition, man cheer. Guys may have a strong reluctance to participate in man cheer, but... Once the first guy stepped up, it stirred up this sense of community or something, so then I think a lot of the other guys wanted to step up and do it. You know, man, has been uh, really challenging so far, but uh, once we got the little rhythm down, it's been, it's been really fun. With cheer being an unconventional sport for men, they often don't realize the challenges and rewards of getting back up after falling down. And this active effort to support our teammates and peers remains relevant across all sports and other aspects of life. Well, you know, first flying was super hard, but with guys like Connor by my side, you know, it's been a lot easier this year. And we've been working really hard, and we're excited to show you our performance this Friday at the rally. This is our best, best squad, squad yet! Manchester has allowed our seniors to have a sense of community while also giving the opportunity for these guys to break into such a female dominated sport. As you can see, Manchester's relevance extends beyond shattering the gender barrier of cheerleading. It's one of West Ranch's most anticipated ways of exemplifying our school pride. From West Ranch TV, this has been William Seto reporting. Manchester was so fun to watch at our rally. Yeah, it was. It's also really fun watching our Wildcat sports. Let's now take it to Brody, who has interviews with uh, some people on our live PTZ. Yeah, I my interview. Yeah. I'm, I'm, All right, you know what? Hi, guys. Uh, who, who, where's the camera? Oh, hi, guys. Uh, I'm here live in the studio. Uh, I'm, I'm with some future Wildcats, and we're going to ask them, uh, who's the future Wildcat here? Adelaide. Can I get a raise Adelaide. 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 Oh, okay. Govin, Govin. All right. Um, Hi, Govin. Uh, what are you looking forward to here in, uh, at West Ranch? Probably well, making new friends. New yeah. friends, man. Uh, anything about the campus you like? Anything? Uh... Yeah, it's really big. Yeah, nice, man. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. You excited to join the basketball team, man? You got a great legacy here with Siddharth. Uh, how do you feel about that, man? I feel good about it. Yeah, all right, all right. Um, anyone else? You guys want to be interviewed? All right. What are you guys excited for to be at West Ranch? I know you're a uh, brother of William Seidel, great legacy to live on. Uh, how, how do you like the campus so far? Uh, it's really nice. Good to hear, good to hear. Um, anyone else want to be interviewed? Hey, right here. Right here? All right. What, oh, uh, I guess we're going back to the studio. No one else wants to get interviewed. Much Brody, and yeah, my brother will be here next year. Hey, Siddharth, why weren't you featured in the Wildcat wrap-up? Well, you weren't either, so, and don't even talk, we made it to state. That's not fair. Our season is still going. Well, this block isn't. That's a full wrap-up of our Wildcat sports. Thank you for watching your third and best set of hosts. Stay tuned for our final block focusing on the future of West Ranch. This has been Sophia O'Hara. And Siddharth Student reporting live.
Okay, last chance. Enter honey. More than halfway done with the night. Will, how has your last open house been going? Uh, you know, it, it's really sad, man. I, I love open house. You know, every year I come and I just enjoy my, enjoy my time with my friends, my family. And it, 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 my, it brings me to tears that, you know, we're here at my final open house and we got two months out of school before we graduate and head in separate directions, man. I love West Ranch. It's my family. I love you, Sid. Love you too, Will. And I'll miss y'all, for real, I'll miss y'all. Yeah, me too. Have you uh, gone down to the Spanish building yet and checked out their foods? Of course, I was just down there eating a big, luxurious dinner. <laughs> yeah, so if you haven't gotten a chance to eat yet, make sure you head on down there. Now is the time for my highlight of my night. Um, as, as was interviewed earlier, I have my little brother here who is trying to run. Um, so uh, this is my little brother, well, not so little anymore, Govind. Um, so how excited are you for coming to West Range next year? I'm very excited. That's all you have to say? Yes, I mean, yeah, I'm excited. Hey, let's get a zoom in on the chain. All right, yeah, yeah, fit check, fit check. All right, forget it. All right, let's take it now to our fourth block of the night with our host, Kyle and Jake. Yeah. Good evening, Wildcats. I'm back. <laughs> we are your fourth set of hosts for the night. I am Kyle Antapara. And I am Jake Boss, not Miranda Town. I have got to say, I am so excited to host with you tonight, k Dog. Me too, JB. I am still feeling on top of the world after the wins at STN. I agree, Kyle. Your acting was incredible. You should have won an Oscar. Aw, oh, thanks, man. And congrats on hosting closing... Oh, congrats on being there, man. You did great. Thanks, good man. Work. I just showed up and I tried to have a good time. That's what I'm talking about, JB. Great work. Everybody, if you guys are looking to join West Ranch, come to the volleyball game. Great way to get involved in the school. Now let's hit the intro. Man, it is so nice having everyone here tonight. I agree. After this long show, I'm definitely gonna need something to eat. Uh, same. My favorite place lately is Eat Real Cafe. Have you been caught? Mm. Uh, I don't think so. They have the best plant-based foods. Avery <laughs> got a chance to check it out. Situated in downtown Newhall lies Eat Real on Main, a new expanded version of the beloved Eat Real cafes. Tatiana Chow and her husband Danny created this local chain in 2013 with the intention of filling the deficit of vegan, gluten-free, and keto food in Santa Clarita. We got a lot of questions for healthier options and so um, a lot of our clients were gluten-free, vegan, um, looking for organic options. At the Main Street location, the menu consists of Eat Real's delicious wraps, scones, and juices, while also introducing new breakfasts and dinner specials along with a wide selection of natural wines. And though the new location is certainly visually enticing, the true Eat Real experience exists because of the collaboration between local vendors and the Chow family. So we source from local farms for all of our organic produce, as well as um, local bakeries. It creates like a sense of community within the restaurant. Customers can see this relationship in their bread, where the sourdough is sourced from a local company called Little Loaves and in their superfood lattes, where Tatiana's mom hand makes the specialty blends. This tangible love is clear to anyone who chooses to dine at Eat Real. From West Ranch TV, this has been Avery Van Hart reporting. Eat Real Cafe looks great. I actually think I had a uh, cro croissant there this morning. I just found it on my counter and I, it was a pretty good croissant, to say the least. Uh, prom packets are now available in the library and the ASB office. You must get financial and library clearance before you are able to buy your ticket. Tickets go on sale next week and prices go up quick. So act fast. JB, how come you never listened to that playlist I sent you earlier? Sorry Kyle, I don't like listening to your playlist. They are trash. That is, that is just so also, out of pocket, JB. Spotify, so out of pocket. Spotify is way better. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Apple Music is on top. That's why you listen to some whack music, man. Oh. 
All I gotta say is, no way. no way. Apple beats Spotify any day of the week, any given Tuesday. The odds are always in my favor. Okay. Apple I'll, Music is on top. I'll talk no show, Kyle. Come we'll, on, man. We'll see about that. Our reporter, Natalie, gives us more on this topic. 900 hours. That is the average amount of time teenagers spend listening to music yearly. Music allows people to express themselves, cope with emotions, and boost their positivity. Despite the availability of so many platforms, the big debate has become Apple Music or Spotify. First, let's start with the facts. With a catalog of over 100 million songs and 5 million recording artists worldwide, Apple Music provides more options for listeners. Although Apple Music has a larger music catalog, Spotify users have a greater variety of options for podcasts, shows, audiobooks, news, and music all in one app. Plus, Spotify still has an impressive 80 million songs available, which is more than enough to satisfy the average listener. While some argue that Apple Music music quality is better than Spotify's because of its partnership with Dolby Atmos, the difference in quality is only noticeable to sound professionals using high-end audio equipment, which most people don't have access to. Spotify is also more accessible with a variety of purchasing plans ranging from premium to student plans to even a free option with ads. Unlike Apple Music, Spotify provides a music experience that allows listeners to collaborate with friends through joint listening sessions and collaborative playlists. Creative outlets come in all different forms, and music is one of the most colorful for every listener. Finding the right platform for you starts with the basics, accessibility, and the ability to collaborate. And Spotify offers all of this, which is why it is my go-to music platform. From the Student Television Network, this has been Natalie Kronz reporting. That's what I'm listening to, Kyle. Don't tell me it's on Spotify. It's definitely Spotify. Oh my goodness. Because it's better. Spotify is definitely better. Man, that's probably why you couldn't even hear anything. There was no music, guys, because it's trash. If you're not listening to Apple Music, you're not listening to anything. I guess we'll just have to agree to disagree on this one. Anyways, in the spirit of celebrating all the hard work our students have put forth this year, it's so important to recognize all the important clubs here at West Range. With so much creativity on this campus, several clubs offer students an outlet to express themselves, and this could be you. Specifically, Prince with Purpose strives to achieve this. Let's hear from the club president, Erica Chip. Let's take it out. I'm a sophomore and I'm president of Prince with Purpose, a club here at Western Ranch. Prince with Purpose I aims to bring together a community of creative students to raise funds for charity through artwork. When I founded this club in my freshman year, I wanted to take advantage of this fresh start to truly make a difference and grow as a leader. I wanted to provide a way for students at West Ranch to raise money for causes that they believed in, as well as to foster a collaborative and fun environment for artists both new and experienced. This experience has made me a better communicator and more confident as well as teaching me the importance of managing my priorities. I love what I do so what motivates me is knowing It's great to see our students making their talents to make a difference. I couldn't agree more, Kyle. Another perfect way to express yourself creatively on this campus is joining West, West, West Ranch TV. TV. Yeah. yeah. Right? right. I mean, That's what I was saying. I All know. year long. Talk to them. These three years have been some of my favorite memories of high school and taught me so many skills that I'll be using in my future. It's really touched my heart as a person. And applications for West Ranch TV are due Monday, March 27th. Get them done. So make sure Get them to done. turn it in as soon as possible so you can have your lives touched as much as it did mine. All right, that's all the time we have today. Uh, I just want to say something before we're so over. I want to give a big shout out to our boy D Bach. He needs more screen time. Honestly, so very underrated. He has a great, a great face for the screen. He's meant to be on TV. This is a shout out to D Bach. All right, mates. David Bakhtar. All right, now stay tuned for our fifth block. We have our future. Oh yeah, D Bach. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, D Bach. <laughs>
volleyball players, William Seidel. I know I've been excited about volleyball season. I've been part of volleyball season. We've all been having a great time with it. So, William, I can say that I'm proud of what we've been doing so far. What do you have to say about our volleyball season so far? Our volleyball season is going great. We're the best team in the nation. We're the best team in the league. We're coming for you. Hart, Valencia, we are coming for you. Isaac Kim, hey, we're, we're coming for you. We co <laughs> we're coming for you. That's right. We're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Volleyball team, baby. The best volleyball team in the nation. The two best players are here. We're carrying the team to the shit. That's right. Best teams in the nation. All I got to say is the hard work's really been paying off. Shout out to Coach. Shout out to Noah Doffner. Shout out to Coach BJ. Shout out to the... Shout out to the Sule family for giving shout me. Out Coach, uh, shout out KP. Shout out KP. Shout out KP. I mean, volleyball season wouldn't be the same without something to play for. So shout out KP. Um, it's been a great. This is KP. This is the motivation behind the whole volleyball season. I, I did. I did all their sports promos. If you're looking for a sports promo. Yeah. I'll help you. This KP right here. That's KP, the woman to be. We love, we love the school, West Ranch, you know, volleyball. All I gotta say is, if you're looking to join a sport, you have athleticism and promise, come out to the volleyball. Don't join. We're one volleyball. of the best teams in the nation. We're one of the best teams in the nation. We have a most storied program in the and Valley. One of right the best here. things. Right I'm repping right it. Right here. You should be repping it. It's honestly an honor to be a part of this program. It really touched my soul as a person, really motivated me to be a better man. Shout out coach, shout out the program, shout out this Valley because everybody be losing to us. It takes a lot of will and grit to do that to us all yeah, year. We're done. We're done. <laughs> Just thank you. We're handing it to Sid. Right. Now we're handing it to Sid. All right, thanks, Kyle. Shout out volleyball. Thanks, Kyle. If you're an eighth grader and want to be interviewed for our last block, come on down here to West Ranch, uh, down to West Ranch TV. But we are going to start our last block of the show. <laughs> Hey Wildcats, I'm Kayla Mendoza. And I'm Bailey Borkowski. We are your final set of senior hosts for tonight. Our show is coming to a bittersweet end as well as our senior year. Stop, Caitlin, I'm gonna cry. Oh, I'm already gonna I'm already crying. It's okay, <laughs> Bailey, let's just make the most of every moment. You're right, let's start our last block then. I'm Bailey Borkowski. And I'm Kayla Mendoza. Watch your TV starts now. <laughs> <laughs> I about many women and their impacts on the world. Me too. Let's take it out to a video dedicated to the importance of this month. In March of 1987, Ronald Reagan proclaimed the month of March as the official Women's History Month. Women in history were depicted as those who were not given education or rights, but as nations began to modernize, women began to strive for knowledge and equality. Starting in England in the 1800s, schools for girls became available for the upper class. Elena Piscopia, a noble lady from Italy, was the first woman to receive a degree from a university. Also born in the 1800s, Fanny Jackson Coppin was a former slave who strived to teach. She got a job as a teacher in Philadelphia and represented African American education. More recently, Malala Yousafzai was a Pakistani woman who fought for her right to study when the Taliban had banned girls from studying. She was violently punished, but that did not stop her from fighting for her education. She then later graduated from Oxford University. These few women are only a fraction of what women have been able to accomplish for themselves in terms of equality and education. Let us continue to celebrate the women who fought so that we could be where we are today. I love celebrating women's history. Me too, Caitlin. On another note, our ASB president, Siddharth, is here to interview some of our future Wildcats and ask them how their nights are going. Sounds fun. Let's see who he's with. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I remember when I was a future, when I was a, yeah, I was a future Wildcat. Yeah, I remember I was going uh, to open house with my older sister and I was so jealous. All right, let's take it back to Siddharth. <laughs> All right, so you just, like, I'm here. Clip one on two shirt. Be, I'll interview you guys with this. Okay, sounds so good. So I'm here with, what's your guys' names? Katie. And Ariana. Uh, so are you guys both from Rancho Pico? Yes. And how excited are you guys to be going to West Ranch next year? We're so excited. Um, anything specific you guys are looking forward to? 
um, like sports? Yeah, I'm personally looking forward to the video production class. Yeah, that it's a great class to take. And what sports are you guys looking at to take part in? We're both doing cheer. Cheer? Wow, cheer is a great sport. Um, before we go, do you guys any have any shout outs for anyone currently at West Ranch? Oh, uh, do you have any? Oh, hi Bree! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well thank you both for coming down. Now let's take it back to our anchors. Thank I love how excited everyone is. I was so excited for STN this year. We just got back and it was so much fun. I'm really proud of all the projects we made while at STN this year. Thankfully, we have a quick highlight reel of what we made at STN. Let's take a look. I can't believe that was our last STN. I know. It, it really went by fast, but I've loved every se single second I've spent with this program and with you, Caitlin. Oh, baby. Well, Sonora with us here live in the studio to give you parents and future Wildcats a behind the scenes look at how we put the show together. Sid? Thank you, guys. I'm here in the studio. You know, we have our lovely, lovely hosts on this side over here, Caitlin and Bailey. Caitlin, is this your first or second time hosting? Third, wow, never hosted with me though, that's all right. Um, would any of you guys like to be in here? Oh man, avoiding eye contact and everything, that was horrible. All right, my amazing PTC cameraman Brody, come with me as far as the camera will go. All right, so this is our wonderful, wonderful studio. Um, this is our wonderful teacher, Mrs. O. How has your um, open house gone so, f so, so far? <laughs> Where's the camera, Siddharth? It's right here, it's right here. It's uh, going well, Siddharth. Going great, going great. Okay, perfect. Um, so now we have our wonderful juniors and sophomores and David great. over here in the studio. How excited are you guys to take over next year? I'm pretty excited. Um, you guys, seniors and Mrs. O have prepared us very well. That's good to know that I have prepared somebody for something. Um, anyone else have anything they would like to say? Oh, I know Eli. Shout out to Miss O. We love you. Thank you. And everyone watch Eli's amazing vertical short film that he acted in on our YouTube channel now. And make sure you check our YouTube channel to find many of our segments and our live shows. That's all for me. Let's take it back to our host. We made it to the end of our hour-long live broadcast for Open House. I can't believe it. Huge shout out to our Western TV crew for putting this all together, and as well as Ms. O for always guiding us. Seriously, thank you Mrs. O for all these years in Western TV. I will always remember this class. And thank you Western TV crew. I really found my place here on campus, and I urge all incoming freshmen to take Video 1A so that they can be a part of this program. Well Bailey, are you ready to say goodbye? I am. This has been Bailey Borkowski. And Caitlin Mendoza. Have a great night, cats. <laughs> Welcome to West Ranch. Are you ready to become a wildcat? Come with me. So, what does it mean to be a wildcat? Is it our award winning sports teams making history for our school, pushing us to the limits, breaking and testing us? Is it finding something we love, putting our creativity to the test? Being a Wildcat is more than yourself. It's about making friends, making lifelong memories. Or is it? The pack is what sets us apart. Cats coming together to support one another and have fun. And most importantly, be a Wildcat. Alrighty, that concludes our PTZ live show of Open House of West Ranch TV. Brody has been behind the camera, behind the scenes. Good. How have you felt? Uh, you know, it's been great, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to working with, you know, the great junior class, but I'm going to definitely miss the seniors. So. Yeah, what do you need? Sophomore class, I like the sophomore class, too. Yeah, yeah, don't forget about the sophomores. Yeah, yeah, well, man. that concludes your interview, Brody. Now yeah. i got to go talk to some of our amazing hosts, and then we will get out of here and call today. Um, so... <laughs>
<laughs> Why are you guys looking at me like that? <laughs> How did you guys like hosting our open house? It was great. It was kind chaotic. of scary. I've never done it before. Yeah, so our um, open house show is always notoriously chaotic, and you guys actually got the easy side. So, we did. yeah, can I'm you guys imagine like, what it was behind like? Behind the scenes. Oh, yes, yeah. Bailey has been here the whole day doing everything. Give me some credit. Okay, there's your credit. Yeah, thank you. All right, well, thank you guys all for watching, and wow, I got cut off.